Hey, it's Jason with Jams.net, cars, mm. DIY, and adventures. And today is a bit of a DIY kind of day. I have tons of things that use batteries here at the house. I'm gonna be testing out these Power L AA lithium batteries. This company's been making batteries since 1996 for a lot of the big companies. They ventured out onto their own at some point in the 2000s. And I'm gonna try these lithium batteries. What I'm gonna try them on, let's take a peek. I got batteries everywhere. The garage door opener. A whole lot of smart locks running double A batteries. My driveway sensor, double A batteries. The automatic gates on my chicken coop, double A batteries. But why are lithium batteries supposed to be superior? And why are these supposed to last so much longer than a standard pack of batteries that you buy? And what exactly is a lithium battery? So what is a lithium battery? I mean, obviously it uses lithium and there's two types of lithium batteries. You have the lithium primary, which are metal-based batteries, and you have the lithium ion, which are rechargeable batteries. Now these are not rechargeable batteries. These would be considered the lithium primary batteries, non-rechargeable. But what exactly is lithium? Well, lithium is used in a lot of things, batteries and all the batteries for EVs, and lithium at the core is the lightest metal, and it's the least dense solid element. It's highly reactive and flammable, so we might see those EV stories of EVs catching on fire. Just think a whole lot of these little lithium batteries powering that EV. It corrodes quickly in air, and uh, then it gets silver, gray, and black kind of tarnish on it. And lithium is found in rocks in the subsurface of the earth, um, and that's called brines. Lithium's mined typically in salt lakes, particularly in South America, and a lot of it, nearly all of the lithium mined nowadays is for batteries. So that's lithium. Now, a few things to know about the Power L brand. This is an eight pack. A 12 pack of the batteries is $24. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, and lots of other distributors. So you're paying a premium for the battery. I will note though, this specific company, this specific pack of batteries has over 1,300 four plus star ratings. Now there's some people that complain and said, oh, they, they went out instantly. I mean, who hasn't had batteries that occasionally had some bad ones? I think though with 1,300 plus four star ratings, Power Owl must be doing something right. The company, as I alluded to earlier, was started in 1996 and they were making batteries for other companies. So they're not new to the game. They've obviously evolved with lithium batteries. Now, why would I want to use use lithium batteries in the applications that I started to talk about. Well, they were supposed to last significantly longer, as much to three to five times longer. When I'm powering driveway sensors and door locks and chicken coop gates, boy, if I can get three to five times more life out of a battery, fantastic. They're also lightweight which is great if it's an application that needs it. None of my applications it particularly matters, but if it's a camera, it's great to have lighter weight in your battery. They also have a higher voltage than typical batteries. So it maintains that 1.5 voltage the life of the battery effectively. Eventually the battery would just go poop, but usually with standard batteries, as they start to deplete, the voltage starts getting poor and that creates issues. This is gonna give you true 1.5 volts to the very end. The problem is when they're completely depleted, kapoop, they're gone. You're not gonna be using them anymore. They also are supposed to perform really well in extreme weather. So supposedly negative 40 Fahrenheit, it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit here right now, even though it looks sunny, it's cold. And uh, supposedly up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I sure as hope my applications never see that because well, there would be a bigger issue going on uh, other than my worry about batteries. But they're great for outdoor usage. They're great for cameras and specifically 
cold weather environments, that driveway sensor battery has only been lasting like a month. We get a lot of traffic up the driveway. This should solve that problem. They're also leak resistant. How often have you opened some standard AA batteries and they had that corrosion? These are leak resistant. But being leak resistant doesn't mean they'll like 100% safe. In fact, if these get busted or cracked or something, they actually can uh, can create a bit of an issue for you. So you want to be safe with your batteries and not just assume they're safer, but they shouldn't leak in your applications. Now, these are non-rechargeable, though more pricier up front, but it should be more cost effective long term because I'm not having to buy so many replacement batteries. And again, you want to handle these very safely because um, they shouldn't be punctured, they shouldn't be exposed to fire, and they shouldn't be disposed of improperly. You don't want to just pitch them in the trash can because they have a high energy chemistry going on. And you know, standard water and whatnot won't put these out. So let's go ahead and pop them in a couple of my uh, my devices and I'll, ch you know, check back in with you in a couple of weeks or months and, and let you know how they're going. But let's take a closer look at the battery and do an install. Okay, so first I'm gonna install them on the driveway sensor because this is the thing that I absolutely hate having to change out so frequently because it's for screws to get to the battery pack. We use this sensor because our driveway is about a thousand feet long and I like to know when folks are coming up the drive. I would love to have the solar powered but as you can probably tell it's under a bunch of pine trees which prohibits and I don't want to run a lengthy solar panel just for the sake of uh of this. I've considered it though. So you can see in here, yeah, 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 I'm using those cheap Harbor Freight batteries because honestly, even when I bought some of the more expensive batteries, they just weren't lasting. So I'm still using these and they seem okay. But those are the four double A's and you can see it's, you know, ideally a pain to change when they don't last as long as they should. So this is the Power L. This is the other one, significantly lighter. But the size, of course, double A is double A. The size is, is all the same. But you can see a little bit of the, of the differences here in the battery. So these are what I'm gonna be putting in. And they'll install just like any double A battery. You just pop them in. So let me get the four of these installed. Okay, I'm putting the last one in and I have my light flashing. Why well, it was, it's gonna reset here, but this sensor I know is good because it was uh, it was flashing a moment ago. Let me let this thing reset. You're not gonna be able to see it maybe on the camera. There you go, you saw a flash there. So these are the pack of four, but you can see that it can get kind of expensive if these don't perform the way they claim. I'm pretty confident though they uh, they should. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so the driveway sensor is all installed and when you come up here, this little guy flashes green and then it sends a signal inside of the house to let you know somebody's coming up the driveway. Let's go to the garage and do the uh, pin pad. Okay, this is the pin pad for the LiftMaster garage door. Gets a lot of use. And this battery was, uh, I guess I get about four months. Ah, that's a nine volt battery. I won't be doing that one. I gotta ask them for some nine volt ones, I suppose. I thought it was double A's. That's okay, because I know for a fact the front door has four double A's. Let's go do that one. So this is the Slodge automatic door lock. It has a battery pack that holds four double A batteries. And uh, while this is inside, it's not exposed to the cold as much, but we currently have four 
Duracells in, we're gonna put the Power L lithiums in here. See how that goes. Okay, so this is the last one to put in. Similar power pack that was in the driveway sensor. And I, uh, I'll plug it up and make sure everything functions. Let me pop this cover back on. Okay, so that's my use cases just for a few of the many applications I have for these AA lithium batteries. Now, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a battery expert. How am I gonna test this? Today is the first week of March. I'm gonna make another video when these batteries start going kaboop, and we'll look back at this video and see just how long did they actually last in an application like I'm using these for, the driveway sensor and the front door, which both get equally amount of use when it's all said and done. I think I'm gonna put some in my uh, remote controller as well. This is Jason with jams.net, cars, DIY and adventures, a link in the description. I'm giving my open and honest opinion. That's my install, those are my use cases, and stay tuned for an update for how they're performing.